So, perfect blue skies, almost no wind, beautiful sunshine. These are indeed conditions for the beautiful game. The backdrop here, picturesque, idyllic. No doubt one of the best days of the footballing calendar, and it has added to a really jovial, happy mood in the stands, helping to raise the level of sound by more than a few decibels. Shirt sleeve order, very much the dress code. It is a venue, this, which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. It appears to be a 4-4-2 formation, Jim. Well, what I like about this system, Peter, is the way in which both central midfielders have to work in tandem. If one opts to go forward, the other sits, and when one moves either side to snuff out an attack, the other will, will hold the central ground. Communication is obviously vital to make it a success, but this team knows what it's doing, and I think we're going to see that reflected. So that's got things on the way. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Yeah, N'Golo Kante. He is only one midfielder, but it often feels like he does the work of two or three. He's got exceptional awareness for danger and the stamina to make sure he can go and, and snuff it out over and over again if required. He's also exceptional in the tackle. And when you watch him in the latter parts of a game, 90th minute plus, he looks as if he's in the first five. He would be the obvious choice, wouldn't he? He certainly has all the right qualities. Right through the middle. Promising move that good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy And that's been levered clear And they're not going to make any further progress now Zuma can get it clear And it's Bertrand oh, The balls come loose and the chase is on out to the wing oh real danger here Conte oh we don't even need to look at the stats do we Peter zero attempts zero goals and uh, excitement forget it forward it goes that was one quality pass away from being a very decent chance Looked very promising. Ah, quality deserted them when they really needed it. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. The referee's awarded a free kick. Southampton draw first blood here. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. Hoists it forward. 
That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Bertrand goes looking. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Werner. Zayek lobs it in gently. Bertrand tries to get it forward quickly. Bertrand plays it forward. Werner. Yeah, he's fouled him there. And it's Chilwell. Well weighted. Good clearance and very necessary. And there is the half-time whistle. So there you have it, a close sport half of football. But that has still had its moments and ultimately produced just one goal. A decent game after that. Well, that certainly pleased the fans, and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline. The question is now, can they protect it? Southampton, they're in at half-time with a slender one-goal lead. And the game has already resumed here. Well, it's been tight, Peter, but I'm expecting things to, to open up now and we get some free-flowing football. And that is as far as they're going to go. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Ward Prowse. Lovely feet. He's got the ball, he's got the space. And the shot! Played out to the right. Time to deliver. A really good feat from him. Ward Crow, he's had a go! Oh, that is rather wayward. Yeah, on another occasion, all that went wrong, make them right. Conte. And it's played forward. What an adventurous run from a defender. Defending of the desperate variety. He's gone out of play. Oh, that's neat. Whipped in. That's what has to be done now, no question about it. Well, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. looking as though he's being given special treatment here, treatment he could well do without. Well, they've got to deny him time and space, and, and that's one way of ensuring it. And the ball is out of play. And there's going to be another change here. <laughs> Thiago Silva tries to switch the play. Kovacic does well to read it and intercepts. Jorginho.
Zuma. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, while the temptation's always there, Peter, I think it would be ill-advised of them to try settle for what they've got. And it's been taken straight back. Chilwell. Hardly anything between the sides. And the score is 1-0. And it's Zayek. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Now it's Walcott. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Kovacic. Jorginho. Giroud. Goes for it! Oh, that's a waste. They're probably getting frustrated by the lack of chances, I suppose. Kocic. And it's Zayek. Just five minutes left. Southampton are on the verge of a pretty special win, but they've got some hanging on to do here. Kovacic. So... Zerna! Oh, denied brilliantly! Well, as Tesco Peter, the keeper, has just received an A-plus grade. Information that there will be two minutes stoppage time. It is just a question of running down the clock now. Werner. Oh, that is asking for trouble. Giroud. That's gone a long way up and away. And that will be the final act. Terrific contest. It really might have tipped either way. The margins were tiny. Just a goal in it. But that was enough. Thank you.